Let's talk about paper. You are surrounded by paper every day. You write on notebook paper. You read books, newspapers, and magazines that are printed on paper. And you may eat off of plates and use napkins that are made from paper. Even cardboard boxes are made of paper. And let's not forget tissues and toilet paper. Those are paper products too. Everywhere you look, paper is part of everyday life. But have you ever wondered, where does paper come from? This is the story of how paper is made. And it all starts with trees. Today, logging companies use heavy machines to cut down trees. A mechanical saw, like this one, can cut down a tree in just a few seconds. But, a long time ago, cutting down trees was much harder. People did not have mechanical saws. In the past, lumberjacks used handheld saws and axes. It was hard work and required incredible strength. Lumberjacks in the past also did not have the advantage of using modern technology or complex machines, so they relied on true horsepower to get the job done. Since there were no trucks for the logs to be loaded onto, the logs were loaded onto carts and pulled by horses to a nearby river. Once the logs reached the river, more workers were waiting to begin the next step in the process of getting the wood to the sawmill. Loggers found that using nature's resources could benefit them greatly. These men would roll the logs from the cart down into the moving river. Allowing the logs to float downstream was a quick way to transport the heavy wood to factories that were along the river. On the river, log drivers used long poles to guide the logs to their final destination. In the past, just getting trees from the forest to a factory was extremely difficult work. Today, workers use log loaders, like this one, to load the heavy logs onto a truck. Then, a truck driver transports the logs to a paper factory. At the paper factory, wooden logs are transformed into paper. So let's see how it's done! When a log arrives at the factory, a machine removes the bark. Then, a wood chipper shreds the logs into small wood chips. The wood chips are mixed with water in a large boiler and cooked into a thick paste. Then, bleach is added to turn the paste white. Other chemicals are added to make the finished paper stronger. After that, the paste travels through a system of rollers. The rollers flatten the paste and squeeze out the water. When the flat paste dries, it becomes one long strip of paper. Finally, the finished strip of paper is cut into smaller sheets. But wait! That's not the whole story! It takes a lot of people to run a paper factory. Factory workers are responsible for operating the machines and moving heavy objects. Engineers design plans to make the factory run smoothly. If a machine is broken or damaged, a factory mechanic works to fix the problem. After the paper is dry, quality testers check the finished product for any flaws or defects. If everything looks good, then the paper is ready to be sold in stores. So there you have it. Paper is made from trees, but turning a tree into paper requires a lot of hard work from many different workers using a wide variety of tools and machines. So next time you use a piece of paper, stop and take a minute to think about where it came from.